The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. Well, a lot of people ask me why I fly the flag upside down. Some of you know. It means distress. Our country's in stress, people. It's in high need of a good constitutional president. One that will stand up for our constitutional rights. It's in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. We have several laws now that take away our Fourth Amendment. It's trying to take our f away our free speech on the Internet as well. Uh, with SOPA and uh, the new slang one that Obama passed or signed. The ones that he said he wouldn't sign. You got Mick, you got Romney, Gingrich, and Santorum. All three of them, most of you people out there, if you are halfway awake or half know anything about politics, you know that Newt just really ain't worth a damn. I'm sorry. He's he's out there somewhere in La La Land. <coughs> Romney, I, I don't know where he comes from. He just wants to steal more money from the people. For what I can see. He don't think we've lost enough money yet. And Santorum. Well. To me. He sounded like he'd be the first man to mash the button. To go to World War III. Actually I think all three of them have a little itch to that. The only thing we got left in this world, or in this country, that can do anything for us, is the Dr. Ron Paul. People, y'all don't know me, and I don't know a lot of y'all. I've met or talked to some of y'all. but. I know that our system's broke, and it's broke to no recognition. I know that. That's why I'm flying this flag upside down. People ask me why I do that. That's why I'm flying it upside down. I know that our country's in distress. We the people have to take our flag and turn it up right, and stop it from Exploding, did you see it doing? We the people are the last chance that we have for our country to do anything to make our children be strong and have a free life. If you baby boomers out there lay down and you keep voting the way that you're voting for these people, the three other candidates that are out there, they don't have a cold chance in hell of beating Obama. Not one. The only person that can beat Obama is Ron Paul. He's the only one that can choke him up on his crap by taking away our freedoms. The rest of them won't even fight him. They'll lay down like sheep like they're told to do. Don't y'all know that? Can't you see it? Every time they have a, a debate, they always agree with Ron Paul. 
Ron Paul's right. But I wouldn't do it that way. But Ron Paul's right. And they look up to him like he's their father. And could almost be some of them's. Don't y'all understand what I'm trying to show y'all? The man has wisdom. He has a lot of wisdom in him. He's been preaching the same thing for 30 years, people. 30 years. And all you have out there is television reporters that I've watched all day today. And you can go to my playlist for Ron Paul and you can watch some of them. Try to destroy him and discredit him and make him look like he's a fool. But it ain't those men that are doing that, per se. I mean, it is them doing it. But they're doing what they're told to do. They have a job, just like you cops out there. I don't want to do that to those people, but that's your job, right? Don't you know that the laws are getting screwed up? Don't you know that you have an oath to uphold? Don't you judges know? There's one in Georgia that does. He's upholding his oath. He's not letting Obama run for president because of his birth certificate. He won't prove it. Not to a shadow of a doubt and show that it's not a fake birth certificate. It wasn't forged and his birth his social security number is fake and all that. So they can prove it right or wrong. People, please. The election's tomorrow here in Florida. If you ain't never done anything in your whole life, tomorrow's the day. From here on out to tomorrow and from every election from now on, if Ron Paul don't win, you might as well just go ahead and pack your bags and start knocking on doors because that's what you're going to have to do. Sleep in the street. Use the curb for a pillar. Because you're not going to have no home. Can you really afford any more taxes? Can you really afford to pay for groceries the way they are right now? Can you really afford to pay $5 a gallon for gas again? You know what's coming, right? They ain't going to shut up about it. Can you really afford that? Where a tank of gas and you got 25 gallons, you spending $100 right at $100 for a tank of gas? Or a little more at, you know, $5 a gallon? Come on, folks. Wake up and smell the roses. We got one chance left. One. And I've been telling y'all this for a while. We got one. We got one hope. One. Or we're going to starve to death. We're either going to starve to death. Or be just plain old killed off because... People are going to get tired of this being broke and they're going to go to crime and corrupt to feed their family. And hell, I don't blame them. You can't blame them because they're hungry. The poor is going to be poor poor and the middle class is going to be broke. They're going to be poor as well. We don't have no more time, people. The time is now. The time is now to wake up and see what's going on. And see this flag flying in your face. I know it's not it's not nice to look at. I don't like it either. I hate it more than anybody else. I like to see my flag stand up and hang proudly. Because it's my country too. It breaks my heart to see it like this. And it should break yours too. Much love, people. Heads up. Get the word out, please.